Hey everybody, I thought I would just shoot a quick video on some good little tomatoes that I've grown for a couple of years now. And they seem to be really tough plants, um, very dependable, and they produce well. This is called a yellow pear. It is an heirloom tomato. Um, I have it growing in a five gallon bucket. This is something I wouldn't necessarily suggest because it is a uh, indeterminate plant and it just keeps on growing. If we look up this plant you'll see that I have a set of fruit here and this is actually off of a sucker down here. Um, I didn't uh, sucker this plant too much. You can see I might have removed a sucker there. Um, but then I pretty much just let it go. So I've got a fruit off of that sucker there and there's another set off of that sucker. Uh, this is off of the main stem. So every foot or so you'll get another set of fruit and it'll just keep on going it's gotten really tall it's probably about six and a half feet now I'll probably let that uh, fruit there set and then top it I don't have a stake any taller uh, just in comparison this is a jelly bean over here and uh, that's an eight foot, a uh, seven foot stake, and it is already past it. And there are flowers up there. So uh, I wouldn't necessarily suggest um, growing these in buckets unless you're limited in space. In fact, you know this proves that you can. Um, but they do get really tall. Uh, these plants were hit early in the season with some uh, cold snap and uh, this is one of the toughest plants that I grow that it didn't even seem to bother it too much so uh, as far as disease resistant I've cut off some of these bottom limbs when they start looking a little yellow but uh, if you look on up the plant it's just a, it's a pretty plant it's skinny um, but that's the way they that's the way they grow now as far as the fruit they are very good tasting um, they're not as acidic as uh, a cherry tomato or your red tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one so you can see what it looks like on the inside. If I don't knock off the... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Alright, let me wipe it off a little bit. Alright, so that's what we got. Just in comparison, this is a, this is a jelly bean tomato here first time ever growing those and this is a cherry so there's the size just to compare and last year when I grew them I was like uh, when do you harvest these things well when they turn yellow <laughs> so uh, you just have to get used to that so I'm gonna bite the top off of this let you see it there's the inside Still tastes like a tomato. They're pretty sweet tasting. Um, if you let them stay on there when they get really bright yellow. This one probably could have went another day. But uh, these are really good little tomatoes. And they're pretty prolific plants. So they, uh, they put off some decent fruit for you. And it's one of my favorite little tomatoes because I just come out to the garden and uh, get a handful of these walk through the garden and uh, harvest my larger tomatoes very few of these make them back make it back to the house but uh, anyway I thought I'd just shoot a little quick video on yellow pear tomatoes and I would highly recommend them thanks for watching